I was in 17, I was in high school, and me and my friends started a band when we were like 15. And we would rehearse like six hours every day, every single day. By the time we were 17, we were good. So the stuff I did with Mark from The Killers, all that stuff was completely free form, uninhibited by the corporate stricture. Just don't settle for anything less than 100%. If it's not fucking amazing, then just go back to square one, you know what I mean? You have to be intelligent and read the audience, you know what I mean? And you can't have a fucking big ego because if you're just like, this song's great, but everyone else thinks it's shit, then it's shit, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? What is the thing that would make you go on tour with The Who? What was so great about it? Well, first, first of all, they're in my top three bands of all time, so just to, to experience that sound that's just magic you know these opportunities just kind of landed on my lap so i didn't actually go out and hustle for them or anything but it just shows you that preparation is the most important thing i didn't hustle at all so if i had a hustle i think i've done 10 times as good but talent is the very basic thing you need to have you can have all the talent and all that but if you don't have that spirit and the chemistry that just adds this whole other layer. So it's good to have a partner in crime because if you're by yourself, it's tough to motivate yourself. You don't have any compass. But if you're with a band, you kind of have that competitive edge, friendly competition. Sometimes a melody can be just flat, just one note or two notes, but then it's the chords underneath it that really kind of set it off and make it magic. I'll write a song and then that night, I'll be really excited about it, you know? But the real test is in the morning.